at Affiliate, and today I'm going to be giving a tutorial of the newly released Affiliate Mobile Android Wallet. We'll go ahead and get started by navigating to the Google Play Store. I'm going to uninstall the version that I had just to show you how easy it is to find and install. Uh, so in the Play Store you can just search Affiliate. Uh, we pop up right at the top. You'll notice it's us with our uh, logo. Go ahead and select it by pressing it. We'll press install. It's downloading. It's a quick download. It's already downloaded. It's 5.14 uh, megs. And um, we'll select open by pressing it. You'll notice the cool flash intro. And that'll take us to a landing page, which gives us the option to create a wallet or import a wallet. If we import a wallet, we've got to have the private key. And we're going to back out of that. And we're going to create a wallet. Uh, name it whatever you want. Create a passphrase uh, that you can remember and that's safe. Um, we'll just keep it easy for this tutorial and go test, test, test. Uh, select create by pressing it. And this is going to take us to our public key, our private key, and our WIF. Uh, you'll want to keep this information uh, private and safe. Uh, I'll go ahead and reveal it here um, just because it's a, it's a demo wallet. Uh, I won't ever be transacting with it. So, so there you'll see your encrypted key, your private key, and your WIF. Uh, keep this information safe just like you would uh, any other wallet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and back out of that. So this is your dashboard. Uh, a lot of information here. We've got uh, total balance in the currency value that you've selected. It defaults to US dollars. It's got your 24 hour change. Uh, and your percent change. It's got all of your assets. Um, it comes hard coded with the Philian Gas and Neo. Your assets are in alphabetical order. Uh, it's got the amount of each asset that you're holding and the percent 24 hour change. Uh, and then at the bottom, you'll see two icons. It defaults to the uh, asset view. If you select those uh, horizontal arrows on the right, it's going to take you to your recent transaction. So you can easily toggle between transactions and assets transactions assets but there's more information here so if you want uh, some deeper token stats you just have to uh, select that token so we'll go over here to NEO just by we'll select it just by pressing it so this is going to take us to a new page where we can send and receive I'm going to go ahead and press uh, receive there's my receive address I'm going to press send there's the option to send uh, and then uh, swipe gestures are enabled here. So there's four pages of, of Neo data. Uh, we'll swipe to the right. And this is going to take us to uh, the option to claim gas. Uh, on the other assets, it's going to say you can't claim gas uh, because gas is only um, available through holding Neo. In the future, you'll be able to claim affiliate on the affiliate page. Uh, but for now, um, this option is only available on NEO. So we'll continue to scroll past this. This will actually uh, take us to some additional token stacks, uh, volume, market cap, total supply, all that good stuff. Uh, what's cool about this page, though, is there's an icon on the bottom right. Uh, it's the purple circle with the square and the arrow coming out. We'll go ahead and select that by pressing it. And here's your chart data. This is real-time chart data. Uh, it's got day, D for day. I'm going to press W for week. M for month, 3M for three month, back to M for month, W for week, D for day. So pretty cool. We'll back out of that and we'll continue to scroll to the right. And this is going to be transaction data specific for this particular asset. Uh, so yeah, that's it. We're going to back out of that. Um, that's pretty much everything for the dashboard. We're going to select the menu option. And just like in the desktop wall, there's a sidebar. Um, with different options. So we just saw dashboard and next we'll select assets. Assets is kind of a quick view of your assets. It doesn't give you the deeper dive that what I was able to show you in uh, in the dashboard. So for example, I can't press uh, a fill in and, and details come up. If you want those additional token stats and chart data, you actually have to navigate there through um, through the dashboard. 
But it is a, a convenient way just to have a quick view of, of the assets that you're holding. If you have a bunch of assets here, you can, you can also use that search function. Uh, and here's also where you're going to want to add um, assets. Um, you don't need to add an asset if, if, if it's been sent to this address. If it's been sent to this address, it'll automatically show up. Uh, but if you want to add it before it's been sent here, um, you can select this, press, uh, this plus button by just pressing it. And we'll go ahead and add um, ontology. Uh, so capital O and T, we're going to select add. It should show up instantly. There it is. Uh, the logo, the currency value, the amount that you hold, and the percent change. Um, so yeah, pretty neat. If uh, you want to remove an asset, uh, you can't remove affiliate gas or neo. Again, those are hard coded, and again, your assets are always in alphabetical order. Uh, but let's say you carried a balance of a token, you had it in here for a while, and then you um, you moved it to another wallet and you've got a zero balance and you don't want that token to show up in your assets page or in your um, in your dashboard any longer, uh, you can actually remove it. So you can uh, left swipe on that asset uh, and then it, what it'll do is it, it'll reveal a, a delete uh, option. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for ontology. You just left swipe, I just left swiped and a delete button appeared. I'll go ahead and select that and it, you'll get a confirmation and it vanishes. Uh, so again, that's only for assets that have a zero balance. Uh, that aren't Affiliate and Gas or Neo. Uh, so that's it for assets. I'm going to select the menu option again. We'll go down here to History. Uh, this is where all your transactions are going to appear. Uh, you can toggle between All, Sent, or Received just by pressing. So I select, I pressed uh, Sent, I pressed Received, uh, and this will put them in order uh, by that option. You can also select a calendar up here just by pressing it, and then select a date range. You can toggle between months. Um, I'll go ahead and back out of that. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, so that's it for for history. I will go down here to settings and some different options here. Uh, you can select about, it'll see the main net block, uh, you know, when it last updated, um, etc. cetera. Um, address book allows you to add um, contact. Um, it comes in handy if you're frequently transacting between wallets, you can store public IDs there. Uh, send feedback link is actually broken right now. We're aware of it. Uh, it'll be fixed in a in a in a new uh, version. Uh, if you do have feedback, uh, we welcome it, and you can get in touch with us at uh, on our Telegram channel, which is at Affiliate Token. Uh, also, uh, all of our social media links are available on our website, which is affiliate.org, or you can email us at support at affiliate.org. Uh, so we'll go down here to preferences. You can toggle between different currencies really easily. Uh, I just changed to Australian dollar. Um, nice and easy. Uh, it does default to US dollars. You can toggle between testnet and mainnet just by pressing it. Um, you can see your different wallets here. You can add uh, or import a wallet even when you're logged into an existing wallet. Uh, and then you can see your backup wallet information there. Um, I'll go back here to the dashboard. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we, we do welcome your feedback. Uh, iOS uh, Apple version is, is done. Uh, and we'll be um, you know, following the application process uh, with Apple, and we expect that to be released uh, in, in a matter of days. So uh, continue to follow us for updates, and um, we appreciate any, any feedback that you have. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys across our social channel. Um, thanks for all the support, and uh, let us know how you like it.